Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life. Uh, a few minutes later, just a little after uh, 13 hours into uh, the 9th day of October, and we're back with a package opening because, well, the Amazon package just came in. I don't know where the smile is. There you go, there's the smile. Everybody's happy opening packages, so eh, it's a good reason for the smile. Open this up. I know what this is because I ordered it. It's my candy supply. This is how I get my candy. It's also for drinks as well. I always get my candy supply from Amazon or bulk, in bulk packages. Uh, so I got these uh, Skills drink mixes. Uh, I like so in terms of my junk junk food. Uh, one of the, the drinks I like, I like mixing it with iced tea. Uh, and you put some of these fruit, these, uh, fruit, uh, in it. Fruit drinks, and you now have, uh, a nice sort of, oh, candy drink. Then, in terms of a candy, I got Skittles. Uh, three packs of that. And this is on sale. These are the Twizzlers. I love twizz Twizzlers, so. Uh, that's my haul for today, and, uh, keep it short and sweet, because we already did, like, ten minutes again, so, <laughs> we'll do more tonight, we'll, we'll, we'll do more tonight, or, uh, uh, probably for observation, but maybe not, we'll see what ends up happening, because it is raining outside, so, and I was expecting the rain, so, uh, yay for that. Well, today is still the ninth. The 9th of October, and the time, and the chimes tell us that the, it is now 10 hours into the day, and we're back uh, doing our YouTube stroll. We're at the Yaoi Vlogs. This is where we always begin. You know, the, the Yaoi Vlogs put out on a daily basis, so back here on a daily, base, daily basis for the Yaoi Vlogs. So that's what we watch them almost every day. I typically go over to our, 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 it's our life next, and from there to Leroy's. From there, from the Leroy's, I go to our family nest. And then from our family nest, I go to family five vlogs. And then I break out into, uh, uh, what we we'll call the, the sub paths, even along the lines of, of Quintus TV. So, uh, I have a lot of things under, uh, the sub path. So the, the, the watching schedule, the amount of content that I have to watch, uh, actually, completely replaces what I had on cable. So, I've actually got more content now than I did on cable, so very happy with it. Um, enjoying the walk around, enjoying the stroll, just the way Clinton strolls around and does his vlog, this is the same thing here, it's just done virtually uh, on my couch, so. Uh, just got back uh, from dinner, and I got my new setup, I got my new iced teas here. Uh, these are more of the junk food type of things. This is, has got a drink mix in there, and it just needs one of them, uh, into the, with the iced tea, that makes, uh, it gives you a, a Skittles type of flavor to it, so. I'm having a Skittles iced tea, and I'm enjoying it, so. Uh, I'll see you in a bit, uh, we'll see what happens today, and in terms of along, what I see along the, um, a stroll. I finished editing. Uh, I'm now on September 16th. That's the date I'm just finishing. So the 16th is uh, mid-September. We're getting into the weekend, which will be around the 11th. So we're under a month now. We're under a month, so we're closing in our time in terms of uh, the Our Life uh as Cyborg Alpha, these these vlogs here that are down on the couch and in the surrounding environment. So, 
Uh, and then that will mean, once I catch, catch up enough, uh, the, uh, the observation vlogs will begin, and that will replace the, uh, uh, our life on the road. So, uh, things are moving along. So, we'll see you in the next transition. While I am back, it's, uh, 3, 3 a.m., it's about 3.10, 3 hours and 10 minutes. Into the 10th day of October 2021. This is somewhat of a transition, but uh, I guess you would call it a pit stop. Um, I had been working and uh, doing the uh, YouTube show and doing some other odds and ends around here. I have uh, uh, some work to do on the phones in terms of different uh, projects that I'm working on. Uh, but I got too tired. And, uh, went for a nap. That was around midnight, uh, one o'clock. It's now just about two and a half hours later, and then I'm up again to do, uh, uh, a little bit more work. So this is sort of where we are. I have, uh, uh, certain things left to do. Uh, I'll probably knock off around five, six o'clock in the morning. And then head back to the other office where things are going kind of swimmingly. Interesting perspectives when I'm uh, when I'm dreaming. And again, these are all different experiences when I'm dreaming. So the dreams are a different form of experience that I have right now. And it deals with issues in terms of how I feel about things. And so you can work out to some degree because you can never resolve your feelings totally. how you feel about something. And it's whatever is presented in the dream, that's what you're going to be working out. Uh, and if you can't get that wrapped around, you can't resolve it, then it remains there and it comes back in either the same form, the same dream, or in another form, or in, an, in, you know, in another dream. It really depends on, uh, you know, the day. <laughs> And so you, you don't really seem to be in control of the dream itself. Oh. You're in control of the how you feel within the dream. And as you sort of adjust this, your understanding begins to grow, your capacity within the dream begins to grow, and this is how the dream kind of sort of expands its way on its way out. So um I think it's going to be it for now. Uh, this is sort of a sort of marking and vlogging at the transition point. So this is what this is. and uh, Onward and upward. While it is uh, 17 hours and 34 minutes in... Oh, no, 24 minutes into the... Uh, uh, 10th day of September 2021. I'm doing this while I remember it. Uh, as I said before, you can, as a YouTuber, you can comment on other YouTubers or even Instagram, uh, comments uh, here in your, uh, vlog. And so that's what I'm doing. This is a question asked by the Leroy's is, uh, do you have the courage to follow your own path and not the path, uh, that others expected you to follow? And, well, that's why I'm here. Uh, I have done that. I have, uh, followed my own path. Regardless of what other people thought, and even sometimes the consequences of following your own path are not necessarily the most pleasant consequences. Uh, but you do work through them. You work through the issues. You work through the feelings. You work through the emotions. Uh, and get to a point that's not amazing, but you get to a point that's functional or, or, or works for you. Uh, and this is what I have been doing all along. This is My, my channel is nowhere near... As popular as Leroy, I don't e doubt they may even see this. I'll point it out. I, I'll sort of send them the link when this actually posts and to the video as I just did for uh, Carly Reese and uh, for the Yowie vlogs. I when I comment on something that's now coming up and uh, as I edit and post, uh, I send them uh, the link to the video uh, in their in the uh, DMs of uh, their Instagram account because basically. Uh, there's no form of st stable communications uh, on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> so, 
Uh, you can use Instagram as a workaround. A lot of them do use Instagram as a workaround, so that's uh, my choice, my preference to do that. It's the easiest thing to pull up, so that's what I've done. And I said, following your own path is a very difficult thing to do because there are others who will say you shouldn't be doing that. And there are others, in their opinions, the others say, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Is it, our, our thing goes, oh, you might pose a danger to somebody else. And this has, this can be a variety of different things where they're thinking the safety of others. And there, it could be based on something real. It could be based on some, because there are, could be risks of the things that you are doing in terms of following your own path. It could have an impact unintentionally on others. But then again, you know, where do you draw, draw the line? Who draws the line for you in terms of what is acceptable in terms of risk or not? I mean, do the, do the first pilots, the first test pilots say, oh, well, too dangerous. They know that some of them will come around. Well, well, you know, you can't do that. It's too dangerous. You know, where would we be in terms of airplanes? Somebody had to go first. You know, sound barrier, different, you know, different things in terms of electronics, a lot of this stuff with electronics, the, uh, the, your cell phone, the components of your cell phone. Uh, there's a lot of toxins there. Who went first to test the materials out? What happened if what would have what, what would have happened if we allowed our fears to sort of take control? I said, "Oh no, that's that's too dangerous. You can't do that." And so there 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 is a sort of a question of balance here, and it is difficult to sort of articulate these different things because you don't you don't want to go one direction, but in terms of doing everything and, and sort of tossing away any concern or care, but at the same time. You don't want to be fearful. You don't want to allow fear to really hold you back in terms of uh, uh, pursuing a particular goal. And I'm talking about unfounded fears. Uh, just simply being afraid to do something because, well, someone might not, might, someone might not approve. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, if you're a nerd, if you're someone who is a zero in society, like all you, all you do, look at my channel compared to the Leroy's channel. The Leroy's, if they did something negative, or what, some, just as someone perceives to be negative, you know, have a lot greater impact than what I have on my channel, because my channel has basically nobody watching. I can maybe count 10 people watching with 10 views on my video. Uh, where, uh, the, uh, the average view on the Leroy's is close to, I think maybe at least 50,000 people, if not higher. So, it's a, it's a matter of scale, it's a matter of perspective, and it's a matter of how much risk are you willing to take. So, that's it for that, and I will come back later on tonight, probably do a, a, a observation vlog outside, and we'll talk more about Lionel, because Lionel's come to a new realization. He's finally got into the point where he's getting his second red pill, I think a second red pill. Uh, would be the way to phrase it. And we'll discuss Lionel's second red pill uh, later on tonight. Well, it is 12 hours and 36 minutes into the 11th day of October. It is Canadian Thanksgiving or typically a, um, Columbus Day. Uh, United, uh, Canada did away with uh, Columbus Day. Uh, years ago, because of, of course, you know, uh, there's no significance to Columbus because, well, he discovered uh, 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 the Americas. Uh, <laughs> no, it is just, it's all, because they say he developed, he discovered the America, particularly North America. He actually discovered, he actually landed in the Caribbean, so he discovered all the Americas. And he had thought this was India, but anyway, it, was, it wasn't, so. Uh, there is a lot of confusion about Columbus. And as, uh, uh, Lionel has begun to realize, uh, <sighs> that the world uh, is a lie. It's a lot, you know, there's a lot of deception out there. 
I would not say everything is deception, but I would say a fair chunk of it is. And so the question is, the bags, and this is sort of where you're at, your sort of uh, red pill moment number two, if you will. If everything is a lie, is there anything that's true? And the answer is yes. Just because something is presented as a lie, or presented as something else, doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't other understandings of it. It just means that you have to do, do more digging. In other words, there's there's a larger context to what you're actually be what you're actually seeing, and you have to go find it. This is part of research. Part of research is as as a researcher. Uh, <clears throat> The excitement is going out and finding the new pieces. They're, they're sort of, uh, in many cases at some point, it gets to an obsession where you have to go out and find the different pieces that are out there. Uh, but the red pill doesn't present itself immediately. It just presents, hey, there's something more outside. And if you don't sort of pick that up and sort of begin to move and realize Okay, yeah, I've been red pilled, but there's more to this. You know, this is so called your second red pill. Unless you understand that it's a second red pill and it's right in front of you, then you're not going to accept it. You're not going to move forward in that direction. So it may have nudged you, it may have sort of, you may have taken it, but it has no fundamental effect. It's only if you move, uh, Out of your comfort zone, comfort zone enough that you begin to realize that, and this is what the whole thing is, is, is you have Hawkins and others who are the humanists saying there's no reality anymore, there, that the world is typically a hologram because things don't sit within their uh, understanding of how things should work. And this is it. They're taking their views, their understanding, saying this is how this is going to work. And when it doesn't work according to their expectations, then there is no reality beyond this. And this is typically the humanist, this is the intellectual approach of things. The approach that was done by Planck, and he was basically, I guess, called the first uh, quantum mechanic, if you will, who understood the world, the universe, in not a deterministic fashion, but an undeterministic, a non-deterministic fashion, where you're talking about probability of things that you might understand, or you approach the understanding to. And of course, this brings you back. So they say, "Oh, you're approaching the understanding too. The understanding is a is asymptotic." You can never actually achieve it, but you can have an understanding. You can approach the understanding in the limit. When I say that, in the limit, that's the fundamentals of calculus. The whole calculus, the whole series of mathematical calculus is based on the limit. And it's, it's on this asymptotic curve. You want to reach a particular point, but you know you really can't do that because it's, it's infinite in distance. So you can only approach it. And this is the whole issue here, is that knowledge isn't to be known, you, s you simply approach knowledge. And this causes a problem for a lot of people. If you're a person who is law and order, structure, and so on and so forth, well, the universe isn't going to be very kind to you, because it's it, it, you're talking about something that's infinite in nature in terms of its understanding. So you can only approach the understanding, you can never actually ha actually achieve it. And this is why a lot of data scientists actually fail at what they do, because you, you they don't simply understand, they don't understand that you're simply approaching that knowledge, you don't actually have it. The mathematics, may, the mathematics may produce a great model in terms of what you see on the computer, in terms of your visual images, the visualization of the data. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's real. But yet too many data sides, and this is the problem we're having today, is they take this data as being real. 
And this is what Davos, Davos is simply a LARP. It's, it's a live action role play. And this is why they have the scenarios. This is why, in most cases, it just does not work out the way they expect it to work out. Because the knowledge is fundamentally, fundamentally beyond these people. But no one's going to admit this. This is more, the, the, there's no one who's going to admit that the, the, the information is fundamentally beyond them. This is part of the reality. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm off to my parents' house in a few minutes. My dad is on the way to pick me up. No more scooting for a, for a bit. Uh, there's some uh, hiccups that came into the ride. And the repairs will take close to six months to get everything remedied and uh, back on the way again. So, but the, in the meantime, uh, uh, it's uh, rides once again. Looking for rides once again. And that kind of means, uh, well, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> we are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life.